Yeah. Were you ever scared of anybody in the ring? Now, be honest. Uh, Ali, I mean, it's strange. I wasn't afraid of Mohammed. I lost the title to Mohammed, but I remember Joe Frazier. He was the toughest guy I'd yeah. ever seen. Yeah. Smoking Joe Frazier. My mother watched him fight on television, and he hit a guy so hard the guy turned his back. And I kept thinking, I want to be champ of the world, but I sure hope Joe Frazier died. Yeah. <laughs> and a good left uppercut by Ramos. Watch now for a ripping right uppercut by Manuel Ramos. There it is. That punch rocked champion Joe Frazier to his heels. in Madison Square Garden. Joe Frazier is making the first defense of his world heavyweight title against the heavyweight champion of Mexico, Manuel Ramos. The six foot three inch Ramos is four inches taller than Frazier. Joe weighed in at 211 pounds and is much lighter than the 226 pound challenger. with champion Joe Fraser, the shorter of the two men, coming out with his customary bobbing and weaving style. Fraser can take you out of there with either hand, testified by his 19 knockouts in 21 professional fights. Ramos, in dark trunks, has had 28 pro fights, scoring 16 wins by knockout. Manuel's best punch is a crushing right uppercut. Fraser the aggressor. Frazier trying to keep the pressure on Manuel Ramos and a good left uppercut by Ramos. Watch now for a ripping right uppercut by Manuel Ramos. There it is. That punch rocked champion Joe Frazier to his heels. Can Ramos follow it up here in round one? Ramos moving in. But Frazier coming back with a good left hook. Frazier coming back after taking that tremendous uppercut by Emmanuel Ramos. It looks like Frazier has gathered himself and recovered from that crushing uppercut. Joe has some cannons of his own, and he throws his bombs from both sides. Frazier missing with a long right hand. Ramos on the left, keeping plenty of distance between champion Joe Frazier and himself. Two misses by Ramos. Eight months ago, Manuel upset the highly favored Ernie Terrell after a previous upset win over Eddie Machen. Those two big victories place Manuel right up at the top to challenge champion Joe Fraser for the heavyweight championship. A good right to the body by Joe Fraser. Tremendous punches exchanged by both fighters. A good left hook by Joe Fraser. Tremendous left hook by Joe Frazier. Frazier putting tremendous pressure on Manuel Ramos. Ramos on the defense. Frazier typically throwing punches from both sides. That's the end of round one. A tough round for challenger Ramos. Frazier has a reputation of starting slowly, but Ramos would hate to think of the past three minutes as being a warm-up. It was smoking Joe at his best. Joe is right back on top of Ramos here in round two, throwing tremendous punches, most of them landing. a neutral corner and referee Arthur Mercani picks up the count. Ramos is up at the count of seven. Joe 
Frazier moves in to finish the job. Pushing punches by Joe Frazier. A right to the body. A right uppercut. A left to the body. Ramos thinking defensively and comes back with a left right. Joe Frazier here in round two. Trying to knock out challenger Manuel Ramos. A tremendous left thrown by Fraser, which misses, but that punch didn't miss. Ramos comes back with a left. Joe won't let Ramos rest. Right uppercut by Fraser. A left hook by Fraser. Fraser staying in close. A left to the body by Joe Fraser. A good left by Joe. And a left uppercut by Ramos. Manuel's fighting back. Two lefts by Manuel Ramos. He's fighting back. But Joe Fraser hits Ramos with a crushing left uppercut. Another uppercut by Fraser. A good left by Joe Frazier, and he misses with a left. A right by Frazier. Frazier looking for that one big punch to take Manuel Ramos out of there. Ramos wobbling, trying to stay away from champion Joe Frazier. Frazier looking for that one shot to take Manuel Ramos out of there. A tremendous left by Joe Frazier. Manuel's back against the ropes. Another fine left by Joe Frazier. Ramos is taking a tremendous pounding and down goes Manuel Ramos sitting on the canvas as referee Arthur Mercanti comes over to look at Manuel and Manuel says it's all over. Referee Arthur Mercanti signals that the fight is all over. Now in slow motion, we'll watch the conclusion of round two and clearly see why Smoking Joe Frazier is already ranked as one of the greatest punchers in the heavyweight division. A good left to the body by Manuel Ramos. Another left by Manuel. Notice how Ramos is fighting back. Fraser, bobbing and weaving, comes back with a right to the jaw. A blasting left by Joe Fraser. Fraser staying in close. A good right by Joe Fraser to the body. A crushing right uppercut, which lands squarely on Manuel Ramos' jaw. Another good left by champion Joe Fraser. Boxing's big-name heavyweights have all been sent home early by this rampaging Joe Fraser. Eddie Machen KO'd in 10 rounds. Billy Daniels stopped in six. Doug Jones lasted six. George Shavalo gone in four. And Buster Mathis bombed out in 11. The best of boxing's heavyweights all went under the Joe Fraser steamroller. Notice how Joe stays in close. He really doesn't give Manuel Ramos punching room. Joe senses the knockout. He's trying to land that big left hook to take Manuel Ramos out of there, but Manuel comes back with a good right to the jaw. It would appear as if former heavyweight king Muhammad Ali could be the only man in the world who might be able to stand up to this rampaging Joe Fraser. Joe never gives Manuel breathing room. Stays on him all of the time. A good right uppercut by champion Joe Fraser. Notice how Joe gets an amazing amount of leverage in his punches. Every time he throws to the head, he intends to knock his man cold. 
And if there's one thing that could be accurately said about Frazier's offense, it's that he throws punches with bad intentions. A good right by Joe Frazier. A left to the body by Joe. A crushing left to the head. It's hard to believe the champion Joe Frazier has been a professional for only three and a half years. Already boxing authorities talk of Joe's punching power with the same awe and respect they give Marciano and Dempsey. Joe's style is compared to Marciano by many of the leading sports writers. Frazier has just one way to fight against all opponents. He keeps throwing punches and never seems to tire. A good left by Joe. A right gets in. Tremendous punches by champion Joe Frazier, and down goes Manuel Ramos. Manuel took some of the best punches from heavyweight champion Joe Frazier. As Manuel sits on the canvas, the referee, Arthur Mercani, takes Joe to a neutral corner. Manuel gets to his feet, very wobbly. Joe Frazier successfully defends his heavyweight championship that goes into the record book as a two-round knockout over a very courageous Manuel Ramos on June 24, 1968.